some 15 billion years ago, the Big Bang occurred in the universe, giving rise to hydrogen nuclei, which have been in existence ever since. After 100,000 years, the temperature of the universe cooled, and hydrogen and helium nuclei combined with electrons and became hydrogen and helium atoms. They are the main elements comprising the solar system. After a long period of evolution, today's environment on Earth consists of water, air, soil, animals, planets, and microorganisms. We all know that the resources of life are significantly related to how the universe was formed. It is generally believed that a human's life process encompasses birth, aging, illness, and death. That is wrong, because there is a difference between what we think and the facts. We can actually be healthy forever and don't have to go through the sickness and aging process. We believe that for humans to survive, we need to have sun, air, water, food, and exercise. With all those conditions met, we should grow healthy and naturally. Wrong. Even though these elements do help us to live and grow, they can't help us avoid sickness, deterioration, or aging. Why? Oxygen is the most important element for our bodies. Without oxygen, humankind can't survive. Oxygen produces 2% of activated oxygen within our body. According to recent medical research, the main cause of overaging, unhealthiness, and disease comes from activated oxygen. Activated oxygen sabotages normal cells within the body, causing various diseases to occur. It's most commonly seen in deep-fried food. If you leave deep-fried food for a period of time, the fat within the food will oxidize due to the activated oxygen and become toxic and inedible. Activated oxygen in the human body is the cause of all diseases. Why are people afflicted by chronic diseases related to activated oxygen? Which is more important, health or wealth? Or can you have both? We only know that oxygen exists in the air and is important to life. But little did we know that hydrogen is much more important to life than oxygen. During the Big Bang, hydrogen was the richest element in the entire universe. It took up approximately 75% of total mass. However, after the Big Bang and Earth was formed, where was the hydrogen on Earth stored? Hydrogen is the smallest element known in the universe. All living organisms have to utilize it to maintain their lives. Hydrogen is the key to life, death, and aging. Without it, there would not be life on Earth. It is a source of fuel and energy for the human body. It can decide the health conditions for energy and each cell within the human body. I discovered the negative hydrogen ion in 1983 when I was researching healing properties of water from around the world. And then I discovered that it was, it was present in the fresh fluids, in the living fluids of all living organisms. Hydrogen is the purest and the most common chemical element on Earth. It takes up 63% of the elements existing in the human body and it's also the human body's most important and purest source of energy. Because it turns into water after combustion, hydrogen is hailed as an eco-savior and offers new possibilities for human health. Hydrogen widely exists in nature, and water is a means of storage for it. When hydrogen and oxygen are combined, 
It nourishes the lives of a large amount of living species. So we commonly say that water is the source of life and that it is composed of H2O. In terms of percentage, water is 11% hydrogen, so the importance to life can be seen. But we still don't know where hydrogen is. The storage question is more difficult because there is very little disassociated hydrogen existing on Earth and in the atmosphere. In the Earth's crust, hydrogen only takes up 1% of the total mass and 17% of the atom. There is only 1.5% of hydrogen in the soil, but in the universe, and in terms of percentage of atoms, hydrogen is the most prevalent. However, to most people, negative hydrogen is a completely unfamiliar noun. So, what is negative hydrogen? The negative hydrogen ion is actually a hydrogen atom that has taken on an extra electron. And the extra electron is of the exact potential of the electrons used in all biochemical processes in all living organisms. It also protects all living organisms from harmful free, free radicals. Hydrogen ions exist everywhere around us. For example, they can be found in running water and in most fresh fruits and vegetables. They can even be found in the cells of each of our body systems, especially in the liver, intestines, kidney, heart, and lungs. However, the problem is that negative hydrogen is difficult to obtain and utilize. At room temperature, hydrogen is less active, but can be activated by using a catalyst. However, a single hydrogen atom has a strong reductive property, so the best way to contain it is to make it into activated hydrogen and store it in a powder form. 